I wake up floating in the infinite void. There's nothing here, just me and my thoughts, alone until the end of time. Just kidding, there's a big ass llama here as well. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou- wait, is that Shakespeare? Apparently the donkey didn't like being called Shakespeare because he threw me out from a hundred foot hole in the sky. I wake up to the simple stupidest question I've ever heard in my life. He helps me up and shows me his three pet dogs. Clearly, you forgot to put them on the lead or something because they just run away the first chance they get. Oh, you want me to catch your pets for you? Yeah, no, that's fine. It's not like I've just fallen a hundred feet out of the sky and I've broken multiple ribs and probably have a concussion or something as well. After catching his pets by striking some balls at them, I get winded by his absolute banger of a Pokemon song. I'm gradually invited into this village where some dumb idiots are questioning the absolute drip I currently have. The professor takes me to a restaurant to eat, but I get stopped to the door by someone who calls me sus in 2022 that slams the door on my face. Then the boss walks up to me, considering they're in charge, they must be a reasonable and sensible person, right? Nope, they advocate for me to put into child labour and the next morning threaten to kill me if I don't complete a test. I don't know about you, but if I was threatened with death while at school, I probably would have aced every single test and also lived in fear for the rest of my life. Anyways, the best part about Pokemon, choosing your starter. Now, choosing your starter is one of the most important parts of any Pokemon Nuzlocke. It's incredibly important to make sure you choose a Pokemon that will benefit, holy shit, it's an otter. With Oshawa at my side, I'm ready to go and take on whatever difficult and dangerous test people have laid out for me. But before I leave the town, I'm stopped by a merchant. He challenges me to a battle. Okay, Oshawa can dive and make any wrong moves. I need to be careful, make sure I don't fit. Oh. After murdering the little egg thingy, I finally make it into the first area of the game, where I am finally greeted with the supposedly difficult test, Catch 3 Pokemon. I guess I'm going to be fine after all. As this is a Nuzlocke, we are only allowed to catch one Pokemon per area. However, this test forced us to catch a Bidoof, Shinx and Starling. I decided I'm allowed to just keep one of the Pokemon and delete the other two. And bye bye both of you. As we're all for passing the test, I'm giving it some brand new trip, which in all fairness is a lot better than our shirts and shorts we're wearing. I'm also get a meeting with the commander. My expectations for this person weren't really high, considering the other residents of this town aren't exactly reasonable. But don't worry, this guy went above and beyond and tackled a 15 year old child to the ground within 15 seconds of speaking to me. After learning how to use a crafting table, we can finally explore the first area, the Obsidian Fieldlands. Now, Part of the field lands is shut off for the time being, meaning we only have access to these different areas. After capturing a few team members and farming some items, it's time to fight this big f bug. There's no way it can kill me though, right? Oh my god. Due to a slight misjudgment on my part, Ponyta here is going to have the die. I may not have known you for very long, Ponyta, but you're a great member of the team. From 15 minutes ago when we caught you until now, you're a great Pokemon. A moment of silence for our fallen soldier. Not even close. Due to the clutch of the century, I smacked this dumb bug a few times and then Rudolph comes and congratulates me. The next bug we got on a squash is a lot bigger and rockier than the last one. But before tackling that, we first get a few more Pokemon to add to the team. Once we make it to the forest where Big Rock Bug lives, we get met by the goofiest looking guy I've ever seen. He wants to battle me. After literally destroying this guy, we have to go back for some food for the Big Bug Pokemon. Because yeah, that's the logical conclusion to come to. Instead of battling it, no, no, that would be ridiculous. After basically playing errand boy and running back and forth between the base and the forest, I'm rewarded with a way to travel faster after making me do a bunch of travelling. Seriously, they couldn't have given me this earlier. After making it back to the forest, this girl wants to fight me with her ice dog for some reason. You dumb idiot. Have you never played Club Penguin Car Jitsu? Finally, it's time for the actual boss fight. No time for jokes now, it's serious time. This thing could actually very easily work with my entire team if I didn't devise a careful and cunning plan. This plan basically involves me involving my starter and proceeding to beat the ever living out of it with Aquajet and then throwing sacks of food at it. The combination of this carefully created strategy took Rockbug down once and for all, and we've beaten the first boss. Since you watched this far, you might as well do what Do What's Name says. Go on, I know you want to. God, it's so easy, it's right there, click it. Like for part two.